Hello. Today I will be showing you how to convert a Plusnet Hub Zero router into a wireless access point and, if needed, a switch. First things first, we need to connect the router to power and switch it on. Next, we need to connect to the old router labelled Plusnet Old. Yours will be called something different. Remember, to connect you will need your Wi-Fi password, often found on the router. Once connected, we then need to navigate to the router's IP address. This will often be found on the back of the router. In order to access the settings we need, we must remove the page name from the URL and instead write expert underscore user. It's important to remember, you may need your router's admin password to access these settings. This password will often be found on the back of the router. On the left, we should then navigate to the LAN settings. Firstly, we need to change the IP address of this router, the one we are turning into a wireless access point, to something that is outside the range of the distributable IPs that the main or new router gives its devices. However, because all the devices on my network are manually assigned IP addresses, this does not concern me. If your devices are nearly always connected to the Wi-Fi and never turned off for over a day, you should be fine. This is because the IP lease from the DHCP server is typically one day at default. Next we need to disable this router's ability to be a router. We do this by disabling the DHCP server. Now we need to navigate to this router's new IP address. I will now be changing the SSID on this wireless access point to something that suits it better. I'd recommend also maybe changing the SSID of this wireless access point to the same name as your new or main router. This allows for seamless transition between access points depending on signal quality. Remember, once you have changed the SSID on the access point, you will now need to reconnect to the access point with that SSID.
We now need to connect this access point, previously the old router, to the new router. Connect an Ethernet cable from the main router to a switch port on the access point, previously the old router. I use power line adapters here, so my connection to the router travels through the house's circuitry, but the same steps apply. Just think of the Ethernet cable coming from the adapter as the cable coming from the main router. To showcase the switch functionality of this old router, I will connect a switch port to a device. As you can see, even though a cable is connected to this old router, it is saying that I am connected to my main router. This is because we are just using this router as a switch. To test out the switch functionality, I will visit a website. I will now unplug the Ethernet cable and now test the wireless access point functionality. I refresh the web page without cache. And there we have it. We are using an old router as a wireless access point and a switch.